Hey, this is Gary with Jolly Dolly, and I'm going to show you what to do if your dolly doesn't want to charge. Uh, step one is going to be to make sure your battery charger is plugged into a good power source. Make sure the switch is in the on position. Make sure this AC cord is fully seated. And uh, before you plug it into the dolly, you should have a red light and a green light. Uh, so you're going to take your plug and plug it in and you're looking for that green light to change to orange or yellow indicating that it's charging and here we can see it's not so the first thing i'm going to do is double check this connection right here between the charger and the charge port of course we're going to make sure this is plugged in all the way um, then we're going to check this fuse uh, so we're going to turn this off wait for the lights to go off and we're going to unscrew this fuse. And pull it out. And hold it up to the light. We're looking for a break in that um, filament you see inside. So if that looks good, we're going to put it back. And if, if all that checks out at this point, um, the next step is going to be to actually open up the dolly and check the wiring on the inside. So you're going to lay the dolly on its belly like this and make to make sure the wheels can't move and to give you easy access. You're going to take this tire off on the left hand side. Then we're going to take this panel off on the side. And when you take this panel off, be careful because the wires are right behind here. And if you let this hang down, it's going to put stress on the wires. But this is exactly what we're going to check first. Behind the charge port, we're going to check the wires. These wires are soldered in place and then they have a heat shrink applied uh, you just want to look at them you're looking to see if any of them are broken um, if there's any signs that they've been bent uh, or damaged um, you can pull on them a little bit this way and and just check and see then you're going to want to trace these wires to where they go uh, the red wire goes here check this terminal make sure it doesn't show any signs that it's broken or become disconnected you can pull on the wire, not too hard, just a little bit. Uh, and then over here is the other black wire and the same thing, give it a pull, make sure these uh, bolts are tight. Also go ahead and check all six of the battery lugs and make sure uh, that they're tight and pull on the wires, make sure there's no break in anything. Um, now we're gonna check this fuse. This opens up, there's an ATC automotive fuse in here. <coughs> and you're going to take a look at it if this fuse was bad uh, there would be a break in that filament in the middle um, if this fuse has blown uh, you're going to want to talk to somebody before you just replace it because this could be a sign that uh, you've got a motor controller that's blown or something else so before you just replace it you're going to want to check some other things first uh, but most of the time this is going to solve your issue you're going to find a loose connection uh, in here somewhere or you're going to have you know a loose wire with the with the charger um, if this doesn't solve your problem um, you're going to want to get a multimeter and start measuring the voltage and i'll show you how to do that next okay so you're going to set your multimeter to dc voltage and we're going to be measuring the voltage uh, where the charger port wires connect to the battery which is going to be back here with the negative up here with the positive and we're getting 39.15 volts so that's basically a full charge uh, so at this point we know that the batteries are charged um, this is just making sure that, that we have a complete circuit here and that the batteries uh, have voltage uh, if you're getting voltage here and it's less than 31 volts your batteries are extremely dead and you could have issues charging them
Okay, so let's assume we are getting voltage from the batteries. Uh, we've checked all the connections inside here. We can't find anything that's broken. Uh, we're gonna use a multimeter and a little trick. Um, we're gonna take the, the cord that goes from the dolly to the charger. There's a, there's a connection about midway. We're gonna take that apart. Now we're gonna take this wire that's plugged up to the dolly and we're gonna put our multimeter into these uh, connectors right here, set to DC voltage. You really need to press them in there good. Sometimes you can get a false reading of zero. Um, we almost had it there. And if it doesn't work, you can swap them around. There we go, we're getting 39 volts here. Uh, what, th what this has shown is that this wire has got a good connection to the batteries uh, if we're getting voltage here. So that means our problem is most likely somewhere from this point back, which means it's probably something wrong with the charger. So if all these tests pass and you can't find anything wrong, um, we would probably send you a new charge port um, because you know sometimes you can get an intermittent connection back here uh, we can also send you a new charger if you think that's the problem um, so those are usually the fixes for this problem and um, you can always get with us and let us know uh, the results of your tests and we can help you figure out where to go from there